So for those of you that don't know, I am currently a psychology major in college. I guess the human mind and behavior fascinates me. But there is one certain class called Psych 311, Introduction to Experimental Psychology, and everyone majoring in psychology has to take it in order to graduate. And this class is one that everyone in my major dreads. Literally, if you mentioned 311 to any psych majors, they'd probably start peeing in their pants. It was so hard that they made the passing grade a D. And if you did pass, you could buy a t-shirt that said, I survived psych 311. Now don't get me wrong, the class itself wasn't hard. In fact, it was pretty easy for me to understand to the point where I could just draw in my notebook instead of take notes. But what made the class so hard was the lab which assigned two research papers. And these papers pretty much determined whether or not you'd pass the class. But once again, these weren't the typical research papers that you remember doing in grade school. Oh, you thought five to eight page papers was hard? <laughs> oh, you haven't seen anything yet until you do APA. American Psychology Association style. See, my high school taught MLA, which is completely different than APA, so good job school on preparing me for college. It wasn't even that I was terrible at writing papers though. In fact, before I signed up for the class, I was like, eh, I should be fine. I'm pretty decent at writing and I do write all the time when making scripts for my YouTube videos, so this should be a piece of cake. I was also fortunate enough to have a good lab instructor who at least made these papers manageable. The problem I faced was that writing YouTube scripts has literally nothing to do with writing APA papers. Basically, APA doesn't allow any creative writing. It's pretty much a regurgitation of a bunch of other people's work with each statement being followed by a citation. Everything you learned in your writing class about how to make a paper engaging and interesting is pretty much thrown out the window at this point. All they want is a dry, boring, repetitive paper that sounds like it's coming from a bunch of grumpy old men who can't take a joke. If you use language used by Data from Star Trek, C-3PO from Star Wars, or any other AI, you're on the right track. Another thing was that everything you said had to be backed by past research. It had to. It didn't matter how reasonable or revolutionary your thoughts and ideas were, if it wasn't studied by someone before you, it doesn't count. This rule especially made our lives difficult when our results didn't support our hypothesis. I don't want to bore you with what exactly we were researching, but basically all the past research found the same thing, but for some reason when we tested it, the results gave us the bird. And we still had to find research explanations for it. But how do you explain something that contradicts what a bunch of other researchers consistently found over the past years? Most if not all the research is super old and apparently we aren't allowed to say the data is outdated and the way we do things in the 21st century are different. In my opinion, we should all have just accepted the fact that the group that we tested were weird and move on from that. I also think this type of paper was a challenge because it had such crazy standards and rules. Like if you miss the standards by even the slightest detail, your grade suffers. Oh, I see they have too many horizontal lines in their table and uh oh, they put an extra space under their subheading. Well, there goes 10% of their grade. Automatic F. APA format had so many rules that they had you buy this big white book called the APA Manual. It also had to be the sixth edition and fourth printing because the printing makes all the difference. Why are there six versions of this? Our lab instructor told us we had to buy this book so that we could succeed in the class, but I decided not to and I turned out fine. As if we didn't have enough on our plates. You want us to buy more things? Oh yeah, and plagiarism. We had to worry about that too. The chances of someone getting caught for plagiarism was so high in the class, our professor literally told us, take a good look around you because this class is about to get much, much smaller. Which is pretty scary considering that if you fail, you'll have to take the class again. But if you get caught for plagiarism, you can get kicked out of school. But I think the real reason people struggled in this class was because the paper was so time consuming. We pretty much had a whole month to do each paper and you would think that that's more than enough, but considering the time needed to research articles, we needed 10 minimum by the way, then organize the ideas so that they are cohesive and lead up to our research hypothesis, then do more research to find explanations for your results regardless if your hypothesis was supported or not. Considering all these things, and the fact that we were a bunch of lazy college students, that month goes by pretty fast. Look, the point is, if you don't manage your time for these papers, you're screwed. 
Apparently there is one dude that I overheard. He worked on the paper at 5 a.m. before the due date. I'm not sure if that should be considered impressive or stupid, but I think that was stupid. I have a friend that told me that she's taking Psych 311 next quarter and that she won't be able to get the same awesome instructor I had. Haha, <laughs> loser! Okay, well, be sure to buy me a t-shirt when you're done. But alright, here is my advice for those psych majors that go to my school and have yet to take the class. Manage your time wisely, pick good professors, take easier classes with Psych 311, but most, most importantly, you should just change your major so you don't have to take the class. You know, I just realized that my friend, she does watch my videos. I mean, I don't know if she's watching this video, but if she is, then I just want to say I'm sorry about calling you a loser. And I do feel bad that you have to go through this class. But all I got to say is manage your time wisely and you'll do fine in the class. I mean, that's probably the reason why most people didn't do well is because they procrastinated. I mean, the professors tell us not to, but who are we kidding? We're, we're going to do it anyway. But this class, yeah, seriously, don't do that. Unless if you're like a super like smart person, which my friend might be, so I don't know. So here is my new hypothesis. If new people to this channel watch this video, they will subscribe because they liked it and they want to see future stuff that is released. If you want to support that hypothesis, then you should hit that subscribe button. It would definitely make me feel better since both of my hypotheses is hypo whatever plural form of hypothesis they weren't supported and i just feel terrible so please do that but anyways that's it for this end card thank you guys for watching and until next time don't be old and grumpy and can't take a joke so stay young